Once upon a time, in a little village here at the North Pole called Chris's Town. Now this town is unique for two reasons. One, there's no Starbucks. And two, everyone who lives here is an elf. Christmas elves enjoy stuff by donning a apparel. Or by singing songs in Santa shop. Of course I always like it when they sing a Christmas carol. I like it even better when they stop. Right there in the empire. 
turn his face over. <coughs> Keep it. It's a gift for Ellie. Thanks, Antel. What's my dad like? Well, uh, well, he's on the naughty list. No! <laughs> what did he, what did he do? Did he wet the bed? No, he just doesn't want to believe anymore. But it's time for you to go to meet your human father. His name is Hobbs. Walter Hobbs. <laughs> Gingerbread instead, and 
Can you remember? I can't. I'm small. Dad, it is well documented that children from workaholics have come to see self-esteem issues. But please continue this and I have a conversation over here. Excuse me? I hear I see a Walter Hawk and Betty the Elf. Buddy the Elf? Oh, what a riot. Who sent you? Santa! <laughs> well, I'm sure Mr. Hobbs would be delighted to meet you, but he's in a meeting right now. You mind waiting for a few minutes? <laughs> Can I get you anything? A coffee? Chocolate milk would be fantastic! Okay. <laughs>
Wow, is that a paper cache volcano? You know what it is. Sure, I, will, I built a few of these in Santa's workshop. So you know Santa pretty well, do you? You still believe in all that flying reindeer stuff? Of course not. Nowadays, the sleigh is powered by Christmas tree alone. Have you written your letter to Santa Claus yet? But I'm sorry, I'm too old to write Santa Claus. Me too, way too old. Anyhow, tell you what, if you know the Christmas spirit, and write that letter to Santa Claus right now, I'll picture a volcano. Okay. <coughs>
Mrs. Greenway got him from Chicago, but I'm now going to sit down there. I've got a lot of work to do. Mrs. Greenway, ma'am. Hi, Mrs. Greenway. I'm Buddy Bell. Boy, he's my son. What? Buddy, why don't you put these documents with me through the trash? Ha! My phone has been ringing off the hook. Angry mother, kids crying. What happened to Jingle Street Jolly Christmas puppy? Well, it was an unfortunate oversight, mister. Ha! You're out of a job unless you can come up with a, a blockbuster idea for a new Christmas book. Well, ma'am, this is easier said than done. Yes, it is, so you better get your top writers on it because I'll be back in New York on the evening of December 24th. Snow! 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 <laughs>
A lost Alan Smith Christmas story. Our prayers have been answered. With this manuscript. Manuscript. Where's the manuscript? <laughs>
suggestion? No! Dad, you're not going to be just off. First of all, Buddy's missing. Mrs. Greenway, man. Okay, make it quick. I've got a plane to catch. Christmas party? Hardly. Got to fire some Indian out to your pit tops. Okay, okay. Picture this. Buddy. You're so worried. Are you okay? Yes. Dad, I'm really mad right now, but I'm going to fix that. Pops, what is your family doing here? This is a business meeting. You want to fix that? Then give me a story to pitch. Pops, what are you telling me? That you don't have a story to pitch? Oh, no, no, no. Of course I have a story to pitch.
I take you up and I lift your nuts. You know what? It's been a crazy week. Come on, Dad! Santa's getting right in front of you! I'm just saying, I believe in Santa Claus. That's good enough for me. You're off the naughty list. Look, look, the sleigh starts to lift off the ground. But it's not enough. Well, that's it. What do you mean that's it? No more Christmas. But Santa, Tom? Don't look at me like that. Well, if nobody leaves in Santa anymore, what can we do? I'm not going to give up. I can get you all the Christmas spirit you need. Santa, I brought your iPad. Don't be 